G'day fellas, well this is the end result of my uh, tadpole breeding pond, so it looks pretty good doesn't it, pretty Australian, just um, got some old relics laying around the yard and put them on display, so I'm pretty happy with it guys. So what I'll do here guys is once I pick up those flywire screens, we'll um, actually undo the flywire from the aluminium like into, and then put it into the water and hopefully the tadpoles will uh, hatch and then we'll have a nice tadpole breeding pond hoping for about two or three different species of tadpoles mainly the western toadlet that's the one what I'm after because So anyway fellas, it's pretty easy to make, it took me about an hour to make, all you got to do is use your imagination if you want to make a nice um, pond, so obviously I've just used this chemical drum, I've covered it up as best I can, I haven't really finished over that side, all I've added to it is plenty of hollow logs, uh, melly roots, which is a native Australian tree, the melly tree, really nice wood for display, it's got the nice um, leash in there, mosses and you can just see a few hollow logs down there there's a hollow log there, I've got an old exhaust pipe there, a truck exhaust pipe in there and there's a hollow in there uh, another hollow in there, heaps of um, melly roots and stuff on top so the frogs can climb around and get into the hollows, obviously you need um, for the belly roots or rocks around the pond so they can climb up and down. I've also got um, little planks of wood here so the tadpoles or the frogs can easily climb out so they don't drown because some frogs will get into these ponds and they're not actually uh, water living frogs, they're like burrowing frogs so sometimes occasionally I'll find a dead frog in one of my ponds also got some nice native grasses here guys, it's absolutely beautiful this grass it's got about three or four bunches of beautiful native grass here guys, this is a really unusual one, I haven't got this one in my garden so that will put plenty of oxygen in the water uh, I've just got the hose running at the moment, sounds really nice it's overflowing, but I'll turn it off in a minute. Also, found a nice bird bath and bird feeder out the rubbish dump the other day, so I'll put that in the middle of the pond. At the moment, it's just got some rice on it, plenty of water there for the birds to have a drink and a bath. Another one here, that bucket, and also the birds will get in here and have a bath as well and a drink. So, it looks really awesome, guys. I'm pretty impressed with it. And what I've got here is my walkway that I made and so I'll probably do the same I've got more of these chemical drums out of my scrap pile and what I'll do is line them up here and do exactly the same put my nice iron relics on display like I've shown you before guys I've got other ponds here that one there what Sophie's drinking out of there's a I think a western banjo frog in that at the moment what croaks during summer guys you'll I'll, um, so during summer guys these western banjo frogs absolutely go berserk, I've only heard a few but sometimes you can hear up to probably 10 banjo frogs just croaking non-stop so when that happens I'll videotape it, it sounds absolutely beautiful so it goes for about probably from um, all, all night basically from the um, crack of dusk to the crack of dawn they'll start croaking Another pond there, that's a big rectangle insert, there's another one in there, another one there. Got another one over there guys where the, that kitchen sink is, but it's actually a, a beautiful round plastic insert covered in rocks. And just over here guys, I've got another three ponds here. What you've already seen, if you, any visitors, so these ones here, that one's got minnows tadpoles and there's tadpoles in that one there so anyway guys I'm pretty impressed with it like I say so just use your imagination if you want to do the same make it look really rustic find some nice rocks 
Mallee roots if you're in the country or go driving in the country. Just make sure you don't pick them from nature reserves, it's illegal. And yeah, it's up to you guys. Like I say, it only took me about an hour, maybe two hours to set this up. It's pretty easy, just fill up water, then cover all the plastic in Mallee roots, rocks, relics, and everything else. Alright guys, so we'll keep you up to date, we'll do a part 3 when we get those tadpole eggs and we'll show you the video on that, collecting the eggs and taking photos of the eggs, different species hopefully. Also fellas, I forgot to put this up last night, so what you can see obviously is an old oil drum uh, full of bullet holes. Picked this up from the old rifle range a while back. And this would look absolutely beautiful when the sun goes down and all the sun gets in the right position and all the light will shine through these bullet holes and reflect everywhere. So that's going to look really nice. And just in regards to all the junk guys I've got laying around my house, all the nice older iron and Australiana tin, iron relics and enamel pots and all that kind of stuff. I'll be doing a video on that very shortly in the next couple of days on all the junk laying around my house. It's not that bad, but you know, it just needs to be sorted and put on display around my house. So it's going to look absolutely awesome, guys, when I get it all set up in the new year. So it's going to be a project that I'm really, really looking forward to beautifying my house even more, uh, especially out the front where it looks absolutely crap at the moment. So I'm going to get that beautiful red gravel and plant heaps of native Australiana plants out there, or West Australian plants out the front. And hang up all these type of relics, put wagon wheels on display out the front and heaps of other iron relics out the front and back here. So stay tuned for that guys. And I'll be uploading the video on just the crap laying around my house, what needs to be put on display. Alright guys, I'm taking off metal detecting now. So going to a secret a secret location so stay tuned for that video too guys see ya